Hi everyone, today I'd like to share with you about the Toshiba toaster oven and this is the WTR-A25ASS model and this was a complimentary product for review and testing purposes on behalf of Home Tester Club, so stay tuned for more information. So this Toshiba toaster oven is quite a versatile machine. It includes 10 preset cooking functions and it includes a variety of accessories. This is just kind of show you what it looked like when I originally unboxed it. Uh, it is a large toaster oven, I will say that. And it does have accessories as well. And it includes the following, one baking pan, one baking rack, one crumb tray, one rack clamp and one rotisserie kit. And we'll see all those in just a moment. So this is the baking pan and this is the crumb tray and the next is the um, rotisserie uh, clamp and this is the rack clamp to pull out racks when they're hot and that's the rotisserie kit so it's basically a spit and the forks it actually nestles into the machine into the toaster oven so one side has kind of a pressure point um, to pop into part of the toaster so it rotates and the other section is just a standard little uh, slip in spot. It's a little hard to take a photo of the rotisserie spit in a metal toaster oven but you guys kind of get the idea. Again it, it does rotate when it's on and this is just to show you what the hook looks like to actually remove it. This is the rack clamp. This is a little tricky so it took me a little bit to figure out which w way was the correct way to use it. And this was to show you what the toaster oven looks like compared to a standard toaster oven and that's the panel. So the next series of videos is going to be what I sh talked about when I initially opened it. So when you turn the toaster oven on, it actually has a start and a stop button which is this one here. I don't know how to turn it off, I haven't read the directions yet, but basically when you turn it on, it gives you a four slice toast and it gives you toast light to dark and then it has other options. So it also includes a functions button, which is this one here, a temperature button, which is this big round one, and a timer button. So let's see what this function button does. So when you turn it, it gives you bake, 30 minute, 30 minute increments at 450. It gives you broil, 30 minute increments at 350. It gives you the convection oven pizza. You can do a nine inch pizza at 450 degrees. And it also gives you cookies, 30 minute intervals at 350. And it gives you a defrost for an hour and 30 minutes at 180 degree temperature. It also has the convection option reheat at 30 minute intervals for 350 degrees. And the other option is roast or rotisserie at one hour intervals for 100, or I'm sorry, for 350 degrees. And it also has a keep warm function, which is an hour and 30 minutes at 180 degrees. And the convection oven option, which is 30 minute intervals at 450 degrees. And then the last option again is where I started, which is toast. And then it goes back around again. So in terms of temperature for the second button, the larger button, it gives you 150, 160, 170. So it goes up in 10 increments all the way up to, I think the highest temperature is 450 degrees. And that is the highest, it's for 450 and then it goes back to 150. And then the bottom button, which is the timer, it gives you, it starts off at 30 minutes and it goes up in five minute increments. And the highest time setting is, Let's see. Oh, it actually goes up to hours too. So the highest setting is 
hours at a time at 450 degrees. So that's the highest temperature or the highest um, time timer setting. So let me figure out what else I can check out and I'll be back. So I decided to make toast in it. Um, overall, depending on your slices of toast, you can fit up to six slices of bread in this particular toaster oven. Um, again, the reason it looks purple is because I was using my action cam to take this video. So depending on the water content of your toast, it may take, um, it may not brown as well as you'd like. Um, it does have heating elements on the top and the bottom of the toaster oven. And um, another thing that I noticed is that the toast setting is preset at uh, 450 degrees for four minutes. This was what my toast looked like afterwards. I actually set it to retoast and I had a bit of a problem. I burned it. So you really have to pay attention when you're making toast or something like that in this toaster oven because it can burn quickly. So since my initial test of the toaster oven, I've used it a few times before. Overall, I liked it, but there are a couple of cons that I found with it. One big one is that it's 1500 watts and it is large. It is about the size of a small countertop microwave. So it does take up a lot of space. Another thing you'll have to be careful with is not to use it on the same circuit as another appliance because you may um, uh, cause an electrical short. Um, so it's very versatile. I can't say it's not. I've actually made pizza in it. I made a grilled cheese sandwich in it because I was curious to see how to make one in a toaster oven. It works pretty good. I had to flip it halfway through, but it worked out fairly well. Um, I did make um, a pan pizza, a, a store-bought pan pizza in the microwave, in the toaster oven, and it fit well. You will have to be careful in terms of what kind of material you put in the toaster oven. According to the directions, again, it states that you shouldn't put any types of plastic or cardboard or even foil in there. Sometimes I like to line the pan with foil because it's just easier if I'm making, for instance, like a biscuit or... Um, a, a, a store-bought cheese toast that's going to melt all over the toaster. Sometimes I'll put down a piece of foil and I wasn't supposed to do that. That was my fault because I didn't read the directions. But um, overall, it is worth the price. It is rather pricey. This particular model, the WTR A25ASS, is available at Walmart. And through Walmart, it is uh, 60 $65.12 US. Um, I did find another model through Amazon that's basically the same thing for um, a, around the same price. It was actually a little higher. It was $75.99, but that was basically my take on the toaster oven. I like it. It's nice. Um, I don't know if I'll use the rotisserie but we'll have to try it out one day just to see how well it works. But overall, it is a pretty versatile toaster oven. Um, one other thing, one other note of caution I will say as well is that it does get extremely hot. So you will have to put it on a heat safe, surf heat safe surface. And you will need to make sure that if you have um, larger cabinets or lower hanging cabinets, that it there's enough clearance where there's airflow so it doesn't burn your burn or scorch your cabinet or warp your cabinet depending on what kind of material you have in your kitchen. So um, I've left all of the information in the description below. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.